Hi GI TV, Bob the Axe Man Hildebrand here with Steve, the general manager of Team Liquid, and we're actually at the Hollywood Sports Park Combat Center. I would highly suggest coming out here if you ever have the chance. But Steve, why don't you tell us a little bit about Team Liquid themselves? So Team Liquid, we actually uh, today are out here with our League of Legends team. Mm -hmm. um, we have uh, over 40 different players in eight different games. Uh, today we're dealing with our main team and our challenger team. Uh, and yeah, just looking to have a really fun time, so. All right, so who do we have here playing from Team Liquid uh, from both your teams today? So we have uh, Quas, Dom, uh, Phoenix, and Smoothie. Mm -hmm. And then from our challenger team, we have Matt, Young Ben, uh, Dardock, and Signature, so. Mm. Where's Old Ben? <laughs> young Ben? Well, there's Young Ben, where's Old Ben? Where's Old Ben? That's his brother somewhere, yeah. Oh, too shit. <laughs> he got lost, okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, you've got your, your main team out here today, uh, and you know they, a lot of them have some interesting stories. Uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about them? So uh, with Phoenix, uh, I think it's pretty cool. He, he comes from South Korea, mm -hmm. and he was uh, here on a P1 visa, which is the same visa that you would give an Olympian or a professional athlete of, of any sort uh, just to play video games. It's actually recognized by the United States as like an official sport now. So uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, we have Quas, who's mm -hmm. from uh, Venezuela, and uh, he kind of made his way into the scene by uh, the same way get, obtaining a P1 visa it was obviously a lot trickier from from Venezuela mm -hmm. um, but he has like a, a really crazy history about him about how he got into uh, the league scene and uh, Dom who uh, now is the oldest player in the LCS which is the league we compete in mm -hmm. uh, at the age of 25 so wow yeah he's it's kind of a young league right <laughs> and, just a uh, bit and then we have our last player, Smoothie, and he's the rookie on the, on the team. So he has been with us for maybe about two weeks now. Oh wow! So he's this is all all new for him. You know, being in front of a camera, just doing doing it all, all the interviews, and uh, yeah, he's been a trooper so far. So really looking forward to, to spending some time with him. Absolutely, get some team bonding. Yeah. Well, Steve, again, thank you so yeah, much for coming out. Looking forward to some more BB Wars. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go with the cover. All right, guys. Let's go. Why am I always the first one? I'm always the first one out here. You were. Oh, you mind. I got Dom first. Dom first? Yeah. It looks like a building. I know, it looks like a hiding. Oh, God. Go ahead. I thought it was them four and a pro. Dude, I thought it was <laughs> us four and a pro. I didn't know the set All I know is that at one point it was three versus one. He got all He literally killed everyone. I don't think any of us I I I used your team. Everyone, yeah. And he's wearing like the brightest color out of everyone. Well, yeah, that's good. Three, two, one, go!
He's like, this was my face. He just popped out. You're gone, dude. Camping the whole game, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move around more. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, I, I, I killed two, I think. I killed two. I killed at least two. I think I killed you and. Oh, you got me from behind, right? Yeah, yeah. No, no, I got you. Oh, you? I got three, though. I got three. Yeah. Oh, you know, you got behind me. You're like on the freaking like, corner over there, and you somehow like, end up yeah, behind me. Yeah, I was like, like, I was like, wait, there's somebody in this house, and then I saw him laughing, I'm like, okay, it's too late. He's not gonna work behind the house, so I just walked well, I appreciate you guys. I think yeah. our team no one knew like where to go, and they were all That's camping like, too, so it was literally just you out front, and then the rest of us were like, are they flanking? I heard they scared the whole I was walking around the whole thing. He was like, yeah, I'm not doing this. Each of the towers has Coke cans facing to the inside. So once you destroy, again, all three of those coke cans, the tower and the person on top who's going to shoot, they're all dead. The tower is not effective for the rest of the game. And once again, you guys are going to start with pistols. Once we get at two minutes in, you guys are going to level up. You guys are going to have AEGs. Um, now, again, it's immediate respawn, so as soon as you guys go back and tag, you're back into the game. Three, two, one. Phoenix. I don't know if I
<laughs> Damn it, dude. Oh. Rip. Ah, ah. There's a guy behind. Phoenix behind. Did you get him? Get him over! What the hell? Yeah. Good shit, dude. Hi GI TV, I'm here with Dom from their main team, from Team Liquid's main team. Uh, now Dom, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, hi, my name is Christian Aldamine Rivera, I'm from Miami, Florida. Um, I went to college at University of Miami and um, halfway through my college career I started playing league, um, not, not casually per se, I guess it was more like a competitive thing for me, I always wanted to be high on the ladder, but I started obviously for fun. Um, and then around my senior year, um, I ended up dropping out because I got a really good offer from a main t from a professional team at the time. Um, so I just uh, went from there, and right now I guess I've been playing professionally for about four years. Wow, that's that's really impressive. Uh, the World Championships are going on right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you have any thoughts on uh, on the teams that are performing right now? Are they giving you predictions? Uh, I think SKT is definitely going to win. It's almost 100 percent, but. Uh, I guess that's why they play the games. There's always that small percent chance that Ku is able to take some games. But honestly, if I were to predict it, I would say SKT 3-0. Mm. That seems to be the going rate because, uh, I mean, as I've been told, I, I can't claim to know this before I talk to you guys, yeah. but that they haven't lost a single game this yep. year in the World Championship. So mm -hmm. that's apparently that's pretty stunning for a competitive yeah, team. Definitely. Uh, they're looking like the strongest team maybe ever right now. Mm -hmm. So um, I definitely think that they have a really big um, – foothold up on all the competition. Now, is there any uh, particular player from either SKT or Koo that you're watching uh, just to get pointers on or, or notes for the future? Um, I guess the player that I'm really looking forward to seeing is Smeb from Koo Tigers because if um, they have any chance of beating SKT, it's going to be off his great top lane performances. So I think that um, if he's able to come out and win his lane, um, then maybe they have a chance of taking some games. But if he ends up losing the matchup to Marin, they'll probably end up losing the series with it. Mm, deep burn. Uh, now, are, are there any other players uh, in your league that, you, uh, that you're constantly keeping an eye on just for how they perform? Um, yeah, I guess as a jungler, the people that I keep my eye on are um, Ick Smithy and Rush, and it was Santorin, whoever the TSM jungler is. I know he's going to be good. So pretty much just like the, the top teams, I keep an eye on their junglers. Uh, definitely keep an eye on High, uh, more as like a shot caller. I don't know if he's playing jungle next role, but I just say like the teams that we play in playoffs, I normally have a pretty close eye on during the season, just trying to figure out what champions they're playing and like what their play styles are so I can compare it to mine, take things I like, um, do things uh, that I think counters their play style, et cetera. Well, Dom, thank you so much for, for coming out with us today. I know it's uh, pretty warm out today, but I appreciate you engaging in some BB Wars and I uh, wish you luck for the future. Thanks. God bless America. Now, um, what can you tell me about uh, you know the current uh, world championships going on right now? Uh, so right now, uh, they're, we're actually right before the finals. Um, and uh, the two teams that will be playing are the Ku Tigers and SKT Telecom, uh, both Korean teams. Mm -hmm. And uh, it looks right now uh, that... Top lane for the team. Um, and I'm looking at the SKT, the team that I think is doing. His, their top laner is, has been a, a really strong mm -hmm. point of their, their victories, and he's actually pulled out of weight on their team. So um, I've been really excited to just watch him play and just maybe pick up a thing or two. The World Championships are going on right now. Uh, do you have any thoughts on, uh, on the teams that are performing right now? Do you have any predictions? Uh, I think SKT is definitely going to win. It's almost 100%, but... Uh, I guess that's why they play the games. There's always that small percent chance that Ku is able to take some games, but 